Hello everyone and welcome to Mod Development for Realism Overhaul in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have added Kuru Landscape to my terrain pack. It is available as a separate zip, so each terrain is a separate zip. And unfortunately Kuru in South America doesn't have the best photo scenery. Uh, it's a little bit blurrier than usual. We'll have to work on the pad accoutrement anyway. But I placed it so that you can uh, just launch with the regular launch pad right now. Uh, Generally speaking, for these terrains, it's better to set up a separate launch pad, a custom launch pad with all of the scenery on it, and that would look better. But for now, it's just the regular Space Center and everything is properly clickable. The collider is not getting in the way like it does at Tanegashima. And yeah, uh, but Kerbal Constructs additions and putting, uh, sort of shifting and putting a launch pad somewhere else is another option. But since that might be more cumbersome for people, I decided to do it like this. One catch though is that because the scenery is especially bad over here, <laughs> the actual photo scenery, um, I didn't include that because it'd just be blurry. And there are a lot of clouds on the landscape itself. However, the normal trajectories go out that way, so hopefully that's okay. And I'll try and find better photo scenery if possible. Uh, but let's take a look at how it looks uh, on the way out. So this is, uh, as with the other sceneries now, just baked in. You don't have to place it as a Kerbal Constructs thing. It'll be already placed, though if you wanted to place another one, uh, you could spawn a new one. It is available somewhere in here. There it is, Kuru Terrain. So yeah. That is an option if you wanted to uh, place it yourself, in which case you would delete the file Kuru patch in the folder, in the trains folder, and then you can use Kerbal Constructs to manually place it yourself exactly how you want. But anyway, let us throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. This mod, the Ariane 6, is part of my real rockets pack. So we'll just go straight out, heading 90. And you can see even though the near area is a little bit blurry, once we get high enough we get this sort of scenery, so that's good. You just have to get the camera angle right. So we're above the clouds, there's the city of Kuru. Sorry to have so little coverage. But really, unfortunately, the area doesn't have very good photo scenery to begin with. Uh, I think there are better sources, but I just didn't have a very good source for it. I'm sure it looks better in Flight Sim, for instance, but I couldn't get that. So that's the area covered. It's not that big. It's a 65 megabyte download. Most of the sceneries will be in that area. Baikonur is the largest one at 150 megabytes. So they're not unreasonably hefty. I tried to limit them. Baikonur is just a huge area covering many launch pads. It took a long time to place it properly uh, so that the launch site would be in the right location. A really long time. So I hope it works just the same for everyone. But you might need to make sure that you have the best uh, level of RSS textures, otherwise it might not work out. I don't know if the Separatrons work properly on those. So they're built into the... Yeah, I need to figure out something for those. They're built into the body of the things. Okay, well, probably fairings? I don't know when they'd release fairings. We're carrying 20 tons here. Yeah, the that main downside of the scenery is all the clouds that they had on it. That was unfortunate. Once we're in space, it's no longer visible. Alright, we are making orbit with this with plenty of Delta V to spare, but that wasn't really the point. Uh, we are now very far away from the Kuru scenery, and that will be available on GitHub. I'll put the link in the video description. The GitHub link will have the other sceneries as well. I just add the scenery as a new zip file to the existing release, so that that would be simpler. And so this was 20 tons to orbit with the Ariane 6, uh, though I didn't actually have a payload adapter on this in my haste. So uh, the remaining Delta V is a little bit misleading. 
uh, as far as the capacity of this launcher is concerned. But yes, so the train pack now contains Baikonur, Boca Chica, Edwards, Kuru, and Tanagashima, and they're each separate zip files so that you can pick and choose. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.